Yo, what's going on, you savage this boy John O'Connor here, and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a little bit of a cheat ending tutorial, um, which I don't think I've ever made it. Actually, yes, I have. I think I have made a tutorial cheat engine in the past, but um, this is gonna be a very quick video, just showing you guys how to get unlimited points um, in private match or online. Um, I don't know about really online. I don't really think even people play online PC really on Black Ops 3 for zombies, but. Um, how do you get unlimited points, and I'm using, obviously, a Steam version of this, um, game of, uh, Black Ops 3 right now, and it's gonna be using Cheat Engine, in this case 6.5, but any Cheat Engine will work, and I've been thinking about doing the, trying this for a while, but I haven't really got around to it, and I recently started up BO3, and I tried it, and I'm very excited, but don't forget, only educational purposes, so, um, once you... Um, yeah, once you start up your game, um, you can go ahead and kill zombies first, I guess, but once you start up your game, uh, uh, I recommend just pausing your game and then going to Cheat Engine, click the little computer find button, and then go to Window List, and find your game that you're going to be running if you're running a Steam version. It's going to say Call of Duty, question mark, ship, Marquito, or whatever your, uh, Steam name is. Um, so go ahead and double click that, because that's what your, um, name is going to be. And once you're here, go ahead and click a new scan, or I'm going to click new scan because I obviously already did this, and type in the amount of points you have at the time. You might have already killed a zombie at first. Um, and now it's going to take a second to search it. It won't be instant. And I'm going to let that load. And this is basically the main premise of really updating any uh, value with Cheat Engine in really any game. And it's just keep updating it and finding it until you find the correct value. And I'm actually going to delete all these. Um, Alright, so. And then once you search 500 or how many points you have, you're going to get, of course, a lot of values. And go ahead and just shoot a zombie, update your points, 510. And here this is. Um, I'm going to do this just so it's a little bit easier for me to find cheat engine. Is that even smart? Hold on. Yeah, it is right. So, well then you guys can't see it. I'm stupid. Never mind. Um, cancel. Shit, what am I doing? Alright. So, uh, once you update your thing, of course, go ahead and just search it again. Enter. Or, and then go to next scan or just click enter. And keep doing that. You guys know how it works. And now 520. And then you're going to finally get to this, where you're going to have this many values. You're going to have a lot of values, Values. you're never going to get it down to a couple. And you're going to want to click on the second one you see down. Which in this case, I'm going to go to 530, just to make sure I have the smallest amount of values I can get. As I didn't, now I basically do. And you're going to want to double click the second one. First one uh, won't work. Go ahead and do the, double, the second one. And of course, now update your points. And you will have the points in the top, bottom left corner, as you can see. And you have all the points that's there. I would have honestly thought that Treyarch would have done something about this. And not just let this so easily have been passed through with a cheat engine. But, this does work. And of course, you'll never get vac banned. Because this is for educational purposes only. So, um... Yeah, that's basically the tutorial. Um... Pff, I don't know what else I wanted to make about this video. Except for this. Um... So remember, educational purposes only. Never anything other than that, or you're it's just just wrong. So yeah, that's it for this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace!